Well, Leo, uh, an incredible piece of news that you've received just today. Uh, you're going to be refereeing the World Championship final. I suppose that's the pinnacle of any referee's career. Just how much does that mean to you? Yeah, I think you can tell by the cheesy grin. Um, it is absolutely the pinnacle of any referee's career. It's what we all hope we might eventually be considered good enough to, to do and uh, be chosen to, to referee the World Final. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it will be a fantastic event. It will be anyway, but this will just be the icing on the cake. And obviously, I suppose it's even even more special because a, a, a few years ago, you, you were probably kind of in, in line to sort of do it at that sort of point, and um, you obviously received the, the very difficult news that you have, have cancer yeah. um, a, a couple of years off the tour. But um, and I'm sure some quite dark moments. Did did you ever kind of wonder whether this moment would ever arrive? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, actually, there was times when I wondered whether I'd uh, be back refereeing, never mind, at, at this kind of level. So, yeah, um, and so, sometimes it seems like such a long time ago because so much has happened since then. Um, I, don't, I don't know that I was ever really in the running. As, I mean, it's kind of you to say so, but I, mean, I was never told officially I'd be doing it. But, yeah, it... it I suppose it could have been a possibility a couple of years ago, but health intervened. But here we are now, and uh, I'll take this. It's been fantastic to have you on back on the tour the last few seasons. Can I ask, how's your health at, at the moment? It's very good. Um, I still have checkups, um, but all being well, if I get to the end of September, October this year, that'll be me five years since my treatment. And uh, hopefully at that point, the doctors will just sign me off and tell me to go away and live the rest of my life. <laughs> That's fantastic to hear. Obviously, um, I, I know that there, obviously during the couple of years that you were off, um, yeah. it must have been some, some very difficult times. But it, it's, snooker, it's a bit like a family, isn't it? Yeah. I know you had um, a, a lot of people come along and kind of see you during your treatment and things. And yeah. I suppose that must have been a big help to you. Oh, yeah, huge, huge help. Um, it, the, it's... It's kind of hard to remember in some respects because, as I say, it does seem so long ago now. Um, and I suppose the way the, the human mind works, it kind of puts it out of your mind as best it can. But no, it was great. Um, the boys came to visit me. Uh, Jan, Ollie came to visit me at home. Um, Aireen came up for a visit along with Pete Williamson and generally, I mean, the support has been fantastic. Um, get you know, good wishes, comments on social media, personal messages. Um, so yeah, all, all that helps because it is difficult and uh, my wife and daughter went through a difficult time. Um, so they had some fantastic support from the, the, the Snooker family um, and I'll be eternally grateful for it. I know you've not been able to tell too many people yet, but I think you've t told uh, your wife and yeah. your, your daughter. Yeah. I, I, how pleased were they to hear the news? Oh, absolutely delighted. My, my daughter was screaming. <laughs> um, unfortunately, she won't be able to come uh, to the final because she's got an exam. She's back at university in Dundee. And on the Monday of the final is the first day of her exams. So it's just unfortunate that that's the way it, it, uh, it's worked out, but that's more important her, her career her studies so um, I'm sure she'll be, she'll be with us in spirit anyway and she can watch it on TV so yeah and yeah I suppose when, when that final comes around it'll be quite emotional before and after all business yeah, on, yeah. on the table of oh, course yeah. so how, how much are you looking forward to the match itself I think it'll be tremendous um, it's hard to imagine but I suppose the best I can do is think what it was like having refereed the semi-final which is a one-table situation, um, and this is just the next step. So I've had good preparation for it, having ref three semi-finals, um, and I think it will just be fantastic. And no doubt, the two days will go past in an absolute flash. I'm pretty sure. Well, leading up to it, I'll be nervous. Absolutely, <laughs> I know. I know what it'll be like. Um, but I think as soon as we walk down into the arena uh, and the match starts, I'll be fine. Well, we're all, all delighted to hear the news and uh, good, good luck for the final. Thanks very much indeed. I appreciate it, Ruddy.